It's like this little man knows that mama needs love. Mm -hmm. He's extra clingy <laughs> and just so snuggly today. Oh. Hey guys, this is Dr. Hearn. She's my OBGYN. Hello. And um, the Lord and Dr. Hearn helped me get pregnant with Knox. Absolutely. So we love Dr. Hearn so much. Mm -hmm. And I love you guys too. I love you, Chantel, so, so much. So earlier today, I had an appointment with um, OBGYN. And that was really hard. Um, I'll explain that later. But right now, I'm at the oncologist. Um, I never in my life thought that I would have to see an oncologist. And here I am. <coughs> and um, um, just, you know, trying to figure out um, Over 68. Put your temperature on your forehead. Mm -hmm. Urine sample. You. Hi, today was day three. It was hard, intense. I had an appointment with my OBGYN. Her name is Dr. Hearn. She's been with me for several years now. She's helped us through our journey with infertility, which I will go into more detail in a future video. She helped us get pregnant with Knox. We love her. Um, she also is the one who delivered the diagnosis um, of cancer to me. And she was very emotional, very compassionate, and I really appreciated that. One of the reasons why this appointment was so difficult is because Bo and I had been actively trying to have another baby for well over a year now. and. Obviously with the chemotherapy and the radiation that my body is going to be enduring, that's not possible. Um, chemotherapy can also throw you into an early menopause, which can make it very difficult for you to naturally conceive after, especially for someone who has a history of infertility like I do. So that realization hit me very hard in this appointment. And I was crying, Dr. Hearn was crying, it wasn't fun. My second appointment was with a medical oncologist that's a cancer doctor that specializes in chemotherapy specifically. And I gotta tell you that it was pretty surreal walking through the doors of Texas Oncology as a patient. I never in my life thought I would be in that position. The main thing that we got out of the appointment with the oncologist was the fact that she wants to start chemotherapy very, very soon, shortly after the holidays, even before my surgery. The reason why is because my tumors are um, growing pretty rapidly. There's something called a proliferation rate, and mine is 70%, which uh, when it's above 10, the doctors don't like it, so 70 is not a good number. And so uh, we need to kill those cancer cells very soon and so chemotherapy is happening right around the corner uh, and the side effects of that hair loss happening very soon after my first session um, I'm gonna not only lose the hair in my head but very possibly my eyebrows and eyelashes too that just made my heart drop um, I love hair I love playing with hair. I love doing braids. I love curling. I love doing different hairstyles and I'm not going to have that at all. It'll be, I'll be bald and that's a scary thing and tough thing to know that you're going to face very, very soon. I'm also going to be potentially very fatigued over the chemotherapy time frame, which will be about 18 weeks, six cycles, three weeks in between. So today things became a lot more real. Um, this reality of my cancer is no longer just a story and an idea, it's my life and it's happening very soon. To have a doctor tell you we're gonna start chemotherapy around the corner, you're gonna have these and those side effects potentially. That was hard. So we're going into the weekend now, next two days without any doctor's appointments. 
the past couple of days we've had a lot of them and I've been kind of on a mode of just trying to find out information, all business, very matter of fact, in very little emotion. Um, and I think that that's coming, uh, I can tell, as today was harder. Um, and I think the weekend things will be um, emotionally heavy. So my biggest desire through all of this is to shine the love of God in a big way. Because God is love, and love is bigger than cancer. Well, I'm 33 years old, and today I found out that I have breast cancer. More details on um, my cancer and how to proceed and treatment, so we have a lot of questions. But first, uh, we want to drop our baby Knox, not a baby anymore, at Mother's Day Out. Knox, say hi. Hi. 